Hello everyone, welcome back to the workshop. So today, I'm going to talk a little bit about the difference between drawing and feeding something into dies. Whenever you are pulling the material back towards yourself and hammering in the same spot, you are effectively drawing out material in a progressive manner. manner. Whenever you are feeding into the anvil or pushing away from yourself, you are feeding into the dies. Or effectively evening up what you have just tapered out or drawn out. Using both these effectively will help you be able to draw material thicknesses the same. I'm going to get another heat on this. And get this good and hot. And share a few thoughts with you. So, feeding into the dies looks like this. You're feeding the material into the dies, and so therefore you're evening up the surface planes. When you're drawing, pulling back towards yourself as you hammer, or out to the end rather, you are drawing out the material or stretching or elongating the material. Now, you're doing that in both directions, stretching or elongating the material when you're working on the horn, but you are much more effective by pulling or drawing through the dies than you are than pushing or feeding into the dies. Reason for this being is as you feed into the dies, your hammer keeps meeting larger and larger surface areas of contact. As you draw, you are constantly reducing the size or the surface area of contact. So that's why it's more efficient to draw out material while pulling the material back to yourself, then feed material into the dies, it's much more efficient the opposite way. So we got this good and hot again. So once you get the material to the thickness you want, then you feed into the dies instead of drawing out. This evens everything back up to one even surface plane. And all I'm doing here is just rounding this off, taking the corners off, and as you can see, I'm doing a feeding option. Now, if you do too much feeding from the end of the bar stock back into yourself, you will create what they call a reverse taper, and you don't want that. So you want about equal amounts of heat going forward, and going in reverse. So here I'm just rounding this up using the horn of the anvil to speed up the process and I'll lay there smooth this up even more. But that is the difference between drawing and feeding material into the dice. I hope that makes sense to you. If it does, give me a thumbs up down in the comment section and let me know what you thought of this video. Thank you all for watching this video. God bless you, and we'll catch you on the next one.